Dear Dwayne, my name is Katie Sullivan. I'm an actress. Paralympian, double double above the knee amputee at birth. I have a request to ask of you. You seem like a genuinely good dude, so I hope this will be received in the spirit in which it was the spirit that it was intended, actor to actor. Your most recent film, Skyscraper, opens this weekend. Cheers, congratulations. However, my request is for you to stop saying yes to roles like the one in that movie, and here's why. Mm. Has he done a lot of roles nope. as, uh, as somebody amputee. with a handicap and nope. amputee? Nope. He's, he's not done any So stop saying yes to them. Yeah. Hey, would, did he have a whole bunch that he's slated for? Uh, make, is that be. he's going to be typecast could be. now? Could, is that yes, it? yes. Here's why. Individuals with disabilities make up almost 20% of the world's population. We are the largest minority and the and the most marginalized group in Hollywood. According to a 2017 study conducted by Fox, CBS, and the Redmond Founda- Family Foundation, the study found that in last year's TV season, less than 2% of the characters were written to have a disability. And of those characters, 95% of those roles were filled with able-bodied actors. Uh, we are the largest minority. Yeah, I wrote that. What does that mean? So is that you're almost not a minority? Yeah. And then disability, that's a, that's a minority group? Shouldn't we carry, care more about those that are the smallest minority? Yeah. I mean, that's been the whole purpose of minorities to begin with, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So she's saying 20% of the world's population are people with disabilities, but they make up only 2% of characters on television. Okay. Is that fair? In her mind, it's not fair, but who cares? Ah. Um, I also want to share a little math with you. Can uh, I? I know okay. it's this one. I don't think is going to be too difficult. Take out your pen. Okay. Here okay. We go. go for it. The study found that in last year's TV season, mm-hmm. TV less season. than two percent of the characters okay, were written that's... to have a disability. Oh, She's saying two percent were written to have disabilities. Mm-hmm. Most of those roles were filled by people that are able-bodied. Yes. Is that right, Chris? No, it's not right in her mind. Well, I am thrilled that a film about a kick-ass veteran and father who is unilateral who is a unilateral below the knee amputee got greenlit in the first place. The problem is this perpetuates the fact that we're not given the agency to tell our own stories. Okay. Again, uh, Dwayne's going to command a lot of attention at the box office. Going to get a lot of people in the seats there. Yeah. Okay. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the popularity. If the rock happened to be an amputee, Mm -hmm. he's still going to get the roles at this place. Yes. Yes. He's making the cash. You know what I mean? He's bringing it in. She said this uh, very week, Scarlett Johansson has been getting a lot of attention, a lot of heat from the LGBT community for portraying a transgender character in Rub and Tug. Rightfully so. Rub and Tug. Okay. That's the name of the movie. Rub oh, and Tug. okay. Okay. Got it. Was... Do you know what Rub and Tug is? No. 20 bucks. Same as downtown. <laughs> hey. So as there are many talented trans actors out there who could be uh, portraying that role instead of her actors that would bring beautiful and com- complicated authenticity to the project with having to reach outside themselves. The outcry is about inclusion, true inclusion, Chris. Okay. So really they're just bitching that they're not getting opportunities. Yes.